Lou Brock just passed away yesterday. He was 81 years old. Thought I'd make a quick video honoring him. Look at here, we got Lou Brock on uh, the Cubs, of course, and Lou Brock on the Cubs again, but some kid in 1963. Actually, it wouldn't have been 1963. It would have been 1965 or later. Corrected it for us and put Cardinals. Kind of funny, kind of sad, because that's a pretty good looking card other than that. Better condition than his rookie, because that's got a crease there and got a crease there. And his, uh, you know, I like the card so much better when he was on the Cubs versus the Cardinals. Maybe just because they're earlier in his career or whatever. That's my cat. Cat likes cards. Whenever I uh, think of Lou Brock, I always think of Ken Hubbs. Because you got both on the Cubs in 62, both on the Cubs in 63. And there's a 64 card of uh, Lou Brock on the Cubs. And then a 64 in honor of Ken Hubbs on uh, the Cubs. I believe that was the end of 63. He died in a plane crash. Kind of just like Buddy Holly and Clemente 10 years later. And he never paid me to go on one of those puddle jumpers. But anyways, yeah, I always kind of associate them. They both got the rookie star. And they both the uh, same still on the Cubs next year and then he passes and then he goes to the Cardinals so this is the only year you get these guys in the Cubs pretty sad to think about life that he uh, got to live to 81 they're probably both about the exact same age because they both started in 1962 Ken Hubbs was born December 23rd 1941 so that would have mean he was like 22 or 23 or something when he died. And Lou Brock got to live till he was 81. And then he was born 39, so he was two years older than to start with. Let's see, it's Julie's card. Yeah, Lou got a, about an extra 60 years in life. So sad as it is that he died at 81, very sad that he died that early.